In the last video, we saw some kind of bad <laughs> eBay scoring, but no, guys, I want to show you something good eBay scoring. So let's uh, have a look. Ta-da! Guys, this headphone is unbelievable, beautiful. And I just fall in love when I saw on eBay. Actually, I bought this for 12 euro, including the shipping, plus some kind of other things is also inside in this box. Ta-da! Is that not beautiful? This will be the headphone for my uh, YouTube live events. And I, I think it's a really cool, an absolutely cool one. Look, this side is, and you also can adjust the height. So everything is really professional. And these pads, unbelievably comfortable. I already tried on my head and I'm really happy with this headphone. It's a bit heavy. The comfort of this headphone is unbelievable. Of course, I already replaced the DIN connector to this really nice uh, jack connector from uh, Neotrick. And I did some kind of enhancement on the left side. And uh, I will do also this enhancement on the right side. And now it looks to me the bottom end on this side, now it's okay. Really natural and really uh, nice sounding. This one, I think it's made it in uh, the 70s or maximum maybe in the in 80s. And uh, yeah, this will be my uh, YouTube uh, live event headphone. What you guys think of it? I think it's a piece of beauty. And here is the other baby from the same box. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> really crusty, really 70s style. Uh, guys, if you believe or not, this is a lovelier microphone from Grundig. <laughs> I think the weight is about half kilogram, something like this. I hope it sounds good on <laughs> his own quality level. Yeah, guys, uh, time to time, you can find uh, really interesting microphones on, on eBay for nothing. This one actually has cost me nothing because I get uh, these together with uh, this headphone. If I'm lucky, this is not glued. Yeah, okay, it's, I think it's really came off. But it's really interesting, the, the ground cable is somehow connected to the, to the plastic? What? Maybe this plastic inside is conductive? Conductive plastic in that age? What? Unbelievable, guys. The inside of this plastic, it's conductive. So this is how they solve the, the, the shielding issue. Maybe here we can get other measurement because if you see that the, the paint itself is from inside is coming to, to the shell of, uh, of the microphone, two kilo ohm. <laughs> Very nice. I never seen something like this. <laughs> So even if it looks uh, like crusty and plastic, but it's not, it's not a simple microphone. But I now have clue why we have here these two cable. Maybe this one is some kind of special uh, microphone for some kind of special reporter stuff or something like this to, to make a electronic mute in the recorder or to stop the recorder. For the project, I find a really nice cable from the Cordial. I ordered in the past for some, I don't know, for some project. And I still have from that a couple of meter. This is the Cordial CM Key 209, uh, waterproof and uh, everything proof. And this is kind of miniature microphone cable. Really nice cable. The feel of the touch is unbelievable soft. I hope the capsule is working. Ah. <laughs> smell of 80s. Absolutely smell of 80s. So now the microphone is empty. And there is other really interesting construction inside. I, I never see something like this. Um, here is a hole 
But this hole is not just a simple hole on, on the bottom of the microphone. It's going in some kind of pipe here up to somewhere like this. What kind of acoustic solution is that? Definitely this microphone <laughs> contains more surprise. Here is some kind of acoustic solution. <laughs> I hope we will get some kind of signal from it. Let's uh, do some big air knock. Oh yeah, really nice. The maximum voltage what is can come from this microphone is a freaking one volt. My plan here, <clears throat> so when it's doing the mute, I want to cut also the outgoing cable to the ground and also the capsule itself to the ground. So for that I have to do here this kind of bridge. Whoops. Yeah. Then just cut it. Now you know what, I will go again to the shielding. Shoot. So now if I'm check the conductivity, so this is the incoming signal. Okay, so then it's grounded and also the outgoing signal is grounded, but they are not connected together. Now is the time to make this heat shrink trick here. So for that I need to measure the distance from the switch, which is about here. So here we have to start, but a bit before, of course. So this is my perfect position for the heat shrink. I didn't choose the wrong one because I get something from China, which is <laughs> instead of making smaller when you're heating up, it's just melting. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. I think it's absolutely not the best for <laughs> acoustic, but <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's just the old mic. Yeah, nice. <gasps> yeah, I managed it. Good. Moment of the truth. Ta-da! Yeah, okay. Turn it to here. And then push through. And then this is coming on and just fix it. Okay. <laughs> so now I will attach this one to my body. And we will see how this uh, lavalier <laughs> microphone is working. So this is how it looks on me. Huh? Nice. So let's uh, plug it into the camera. Connect it here. Okay. And then separate the channel one and then rise up the Oh my god. My check, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful sounding lavalier microphone. Maybe you guys will see this microphone in my live event also. I <laughs> just want to try it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like, uh, I don't know. I will see on the post-production <laughs> how it sounds. Catch you next time. Bye.